Section 8 Landlords. Maybe you're a Section 8 Landlord, maybe you aren't. I don't know, but I'm a Section 8 Landlord, and I freaking love it. Let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise. This is the show on Holton Wise TV where I work with you one-on-one, -on -one, right? I help you start, build, or grow your real estate portfolios, and I am doing another video for Alex. Second video I did for you today, brother. I just finished up another uh, video for you on a 4-2 in Illyria, and I always like to give you guys options uh, to compare and contrast, right? So that's what I've done. I like to give you guys a couple different options when you're looking at stuff. And this is another 4-2 in Illyria, but you're going to notice the price is a lot better. 325 Kenyon Ave, Illyria, 44035. Price is way better, right? But why has it been on the market for 142 days if it's only... 62500 right? That seems to be a screamer of a deal because market rent for this thing going to be the same as the other one, brother. We got a 4-2. We put a Section 810 in there, 1100 13200 for the year. Of the 13200 that comes in, I anticipate us spending 6780 of that 60 uh after you spend that 6780, 6420 should be clear profit, okay? Now, why can you get all that money? Why can all that Section 8 revenue come in? And why is this priced so low? And why isn't it selling the previous property I just sent you, dude? I want you to spend more money and you got to renovate it, right? Because this already has a tenant in there, okay? It's already got a tenant in there. And as you can see, it's totally dated. It's a little old lady house, right? So what's happening with this particular property, even though... It's already got a tenant in there, and it's got the same income potential as the other property. The current tenant is actually deterring buyers, which is beating down the price, right? Because that current tenant, they ain't paying 1100 like we need them to, like we want them to. They're a long-time tenant. I believe they're on a month-to-month. -month. Like What's very common is you go on a, a one-year lease out here. A lot of mom and pops do this. They put people on a one-year lease, and then it just rolls month-to-month, -month and they just leave it month-to-month -month forever. Not the most efficient way to do it. It's how we do not do that at Holton Wise. We always renew those people, and we always want to increase the rent whenever possible. But, you know, some landlords... They like to just set it, forget it, right? And that's what this person did, and that's why they're losing a lot of money because they're only renting their property for six sixty five, which is just totally ridiculous, right? I mean, it's basically half of what they could be getting. So they're losing money that way, and where else they're losing money is on the sale. There's two kinds of people that buy single-family homes, folks. The first kind of person is the person that wants to live in the home, right? That's what a house is. It's a place for you to live, okay? Well, this property has been on the market forever. The price is getting beaten down because all the people that want to live in the house that they're buying, they're not interested in this house because we got a long-term tenant. So we just cut that buyer base out, right? You cut half the buyers out, which is going to beat your price down. Then the second type of buyer is going to be an investor buyer, just like you, Alex, guy who's trying to make money off of these houses. Well, guess what? By putting the tenant in there, leaving the tenant in there at half the rent, you're cutting down the price because investors out there think the property is only going to be a $665 rental instead of an $1,100 rental. So because of that, this seller is losing money, right? So with all that said, even though the price is ridiculous, Alex, I think that we can even push harder try to pick this up for you at fifty five thousand dollars right fifty five thousand dollars an eleven hundred dollar rental at fifty five thousand dollars that's ridiculous if you look at the numbers that makes it eleven point seven cap with a thirty one point seven percent cash on cash return using a regular loan right those are ridiculous numbers but let's be realistic here brother now we have a tenant at 665 the market rents eleven hundred. It's not as easy as you get to buy it at six sixty or buy it at fifty five and the six sixty five tenant. We just go, hey, guess what, bro? Your rent's eleven hundred and they just pay it, right? That's probably not gonna happen. What I would recommend doing is we slowly work them up, right? We don't want to have to do a turnover because we're only provided two pictures, but I mean, dude. 
I'm looking at this kitchen, bro. <laughs> like, look at the wallpaper, okay? There ain't no scenario where we're getting that new Section 8 tenant in this property without dropping $20,000 in cosmetic renovations to the home. We're going to have to do the whole thing. If this is what the kitchen looks like, guarantee you, you need to redo the kitchen, redo the, redo the kitchen, redo the bathroom, repaint the entire house, pull the carpets, refinish the hardware. Right? We're doing at least $20,000 of cosmetic reno, right? No scenario. If this tenant moves out, you're not spending 20 Gs, right? So I don't necessarily think we need to be in a rush, uh, to have you drop another 20 G's when they are paying. What I think we should do, take the property over, right? And then increase the rent at the next lease signing. Go up 50 and then go up 50 again and then up 50 again. Slowly increase that rent till eventually you get to the point where the tenant's like, oh, dude, I can't pay anymore. I got to move somewhere smaller. Then at that point, we want to spend that turnover money, spend the 20K, and then we go to the Section 8 program because obviously that is your business model, right? Your business model, I love it, especially in a post-COVID world, is to buy homes in the Cleveland market that are a minimum of four bedrooms, four, five, six-bedroom homes. These are the biggest homes we have in these rental neighborhoods. Buy them and put them on the Section 8 program to maximize the amount of money you get off the vouchers because Section 8 pays more money the bigger the home is, right? So that's a great plan. Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. But I don't think you need to try to enact that plan immediately, right? Let's take some money that's already there for us. Let's not worry about spending another 20K on a reno. When money's coming in, it's, it's still profitable to leave them there. It, it, it's not as profitable as it should be, but it's still a profit nonetheless. So let's keep increasing that profit until we get to the point where the tenant can't pay anymore. And then at that point, sorry, Mr. Tenant, you got to go. Then we'll do that renovation. Then we'll get you the $1,100 rental. So... Between this one and the one I just sent you, I figured you'd probably be interested in both of them. I don't know if you want to make offers on both of them. I know we are currently uh, in the process of getting that other deal done for the five-bedroom home. But, you know, when I see these bigger homes in these nice areas that would be perfect for Section 8 rentals, Alex, you're my guy. You're who I send them to because I like your plan, and I know you're the guy who wants to do that. Anybody else out there who's watching this who's interested in becoming a Section 8 landlord, having my team manage those properties, help you guys buy those properties, don't matter where you live. Alex is not local to Cleveland. My team, we do all the work on the ground. We handle the construction, the maintenance, landscaping, property insurance, title insurance. We handle the whole nine. So if you guys are interested in working with us in the same way Alex is, just send us an email, sales at holdenwise.com. Give us your number. We'll call you, talk to you about the process. If you want more info, you can even click the show notes below. We got more info there. And Alex, you just reply to this email with your feedback. If you want to buy one, both, blah, blah, blah. Just you know, let me know what you want to do, and we'll move forward like we've done in the past. And everybody else, just quickly before I get out of here, if you're looking at this like, yo, I think this is a good deal, just so you know, you guys cannot buy this property. This property is not available to you. I sent this to Alex in a private email for him to reply with. When I release it publicly on Holton Wise TV, so if you're not Alex and you're watching this, this deal's gone this is probably a couple months old, right? I'm filming this video in December of 2020. If you guys are watching, it's probably at least January or February or March of 2021, right? You got to work with us to get the properties in real time. But other than that, I do release them publicly on Holton Wise TV, so you guys all have the opportunity to learn. So with that said, make sure you do the smart thing and smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is... Real estate investing made easy. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.